everyone, we are here at the Rubicon Trail. Um, I think this is mile marker five or six out of 15. We reached this place because uh, this is as far as we can go before it gets dark. And uh, we got our buddy back there making dinner. And um, while we have some time, we'll talk about the trip, uh, why we're here. This is our annual trip. Um, we've been doing it for three years. So this is the third year in a row that we've been going. Um, my name is Steve. We have Johnny here, Daniel, and Al. I think you guys went all three years, right? Yeah. So this is, yeah, everyone's here. Um, you don't see the other guys, but you know, a lot of them went pretty much every single year. And we're all from Southern California. We're here right by Lake Tahoe. And uh, most of these guys are from Northern California. So we meet them up here and have a good time. The vehicles that we use for this trail is the Toyota Land Cruiser. And uh, they're mostly Land Cruiser 80s. Um, we actually don't take any other type of vehicle because that's we consider that the most capable Toyota rig that they produce that you don't have to massively modify to handle this trail. Sometimes we invite the Jeep guys though. Oh yeah, we'll, they we'll, do all right. We'll yeah. Sprinkle in a Jeep <laughs> once in a while. We have a shop in Southern California that we, we build these trucks. It's called RPM Garage, but we're on Instagram as RPM Off-Road Garage. We do everything from lift them, we do the gears, bigger tires, armor, onboard air, wifey air system that's created by Al. Um, pretty much outfitting the vehicle for off-roading, uh, dual battery systems if the guy you know needs extra power, LED lighting for like night off-roading. So there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do to the vehicle to make it capable <laughs> and fun at the same time. The shop's been around for uh, 13 years and uh, we started in Irwindale and right now we're in Monrovia. So um, that's where we've been since. I started in 2009. Before that, I was a mechanical engineer and uh, I worked at AEM and prior to that, Denso and Nissan corporate. Um, a little bit about these guys right here. Johnny runs uh, SoCal Trail Buds. It's a it's a Facebook group yeah. that started how long ago? Started in 2016. Yeah, about 10 of us just organized like a small trail run um, within our friends. It's grown to about 4,000 plus members right now on Facebook, and uh, it's also on IG as SoCal Trail Buds, Facebook as SoCal Trail Buds. So you can look us up in there. Yeah. Yeah. So Johnny runs that. Uh, it started off as a group just to plan our little events and outings, but now it's like blown up into like a bigger, much bigger group. So yeah, people uh, go in there, they'll share their photos and experiences from their tr own trips and they'll sort out and organize small trips here and there. Next person is we have uh, Daniel, goes by Danny. He also has, a, well, both of them have Land Cruiser 80s as well, but um, Daniel runs the shop and uh, you want to say anything or? I got my Land Cruiser last year and uh, yeah, it's been super, super awesome. I've had, had a third gen 4Runner, 97 4Runner since like 2010, which I got from that guy over there cooking up. Uh, <laughs> beat the hell out of that truck for like the past 12 years, broken it a bunch of times, but uh, moving over to these Land Cruisers has been a really big game changer. A lot more obstacles you could go over, less braking stuff so far. Um, still managed to break stuff on the 80 though, but uh, yeah, I guess I've been off-roading since that in 2010. Um, getting over here into the shop has opened my eyes a lot more and understanding suspension and the vehicles and what's really niche about these 80 series Land Cruisers. Um, mostly come out here just to have fun with all the guys, get in touch with nature, and uh, get away from all the busyness that happens at home, at the shop, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, we're out here at the Rubicon, second time driving, it's a beautiful time. Yeah, and this trail is, uh, is special because not, not every vehicle can come out here. Um, your vehicle has to be fairly built, it has to be robust, reliable, because there's nothing out here. Like, there's no phone reception, there's no parts store down the street. Like, if you break here, you got to drive four or five hours to just get out of here to go get the part, you know, wherever. And then if you find it and then come all the way back. So. That what that's what makes it challenging um and talking about gear out there he, he used to work for the shop um 
yes. really big time overlander and off-road guy he actually built an air system for these trucks that we we use on a lot of toyotas um but you've been all he's been all over yeah i've been doing this since uh 2016 and then when did i start working for you steve 2019 around there yeah so even though i don't work there anymore i'm still rpm garage so you can come see me there too sometimes but um, yeah, the, as Steve was saying, the wifey air system, you're able to air down or air up your uh, Ford tires all at the same time. Um, you know, doing this, I used to go off-roading every week and I was like, man, I gotta make this easy. So and that's that was the mission was to, to create things that makes off-roading or even camping a lot easier. cooking and uh he's not he's just not the chef of the the whole trip but he's also the reason why we are here because um you know, he, he's been on this trail for many years and he, he pretty much grew up out here and uh you know a lot of people will get lost out here but with him we don't feel worried about our trucks running the trail getting lost all that stuff so um i met him years ago because of socal trail buds he actually used to live in NorCal, but he came to SoCal, and I think you were looking for a shop to get an alignment. Yes. And then somebody on Trail Buds, oh, take it to this place. And it happened to be my shop. And um, that's, that's when I met him, and he had that white Land Cruiser that looks just like mine. And you know, mine was bigger. No, I'm just kidding. His was. Your Land Cruiser looks like mine. His was huge, and like mine was like little baby, and I'm like, dude, my goal is to make it look like that. And. Uh, Eventually, you know, we made it happen. But Ro stayed in SoCal for many years, and then we, we hung out with him a lot. Um, but he's back in NorCal now, so we don't have him down there anymore. But um, talk about what what you do. Uh, Trail Rubicon boss. wise? Trail Rubicon, wise? Yeah. Yeah. Forget about work. <laughs> <laughs> so I get requested to guide the trail, um, oh, yeah. multiple trails, Rubicon, Fort Ice, uh, Doozy. Um, also, uh, I do camp cook. Um, I own multiple vehicles, land cruisers, Jeeps, um, forerunners. But I ran this trail when I first turned 18. Damn. And uh, that's 30, uh, 33 years ago was the first time I ran the trail. It's what changed. kind of vehicle? Uh, Toyota pickup. Damn. Uh, what year was it? 82. 82. Yeah. Damn. Yep. Then it went on to a Jeep, International Scout, Flat Fenders, uh, TJs. Yeah, went to a bunch of different, um, multiple vehicles. But anyway, still love it. I mean, I love the people. Um, they asked me to guide, and I'm more than happy to. It's, uh, it's, it's not just a lifestyle, it's a way of life. Yeah. So. Yeah. When you're out here, it just feels great. Like you know, it does. There is, well, there is people around, but there's not a lot of people around. Yeah, um, atmosphere is awesome. Yeah, obviously. I mean, all those people who offered the spare parts. Oh yeah. You know? Oh yeah. We 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 had a vehicle that uh, had a bad fuel pump, and uh, some guys driving by happened to have two of them. Yeah. And they just straight up gave it to us. Yeah. Yeah. And they said, you know, pay it forward, which you know we've helped. I've helped. Our whole group has helped uh, many people in the past. Um, you know, and like I say, I believe in karma, you know, you don't leave anybody behind. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's great, great company. I love these guys. Um, you know, they, I consider Daniel my nephew. Um, you know, I see Steve as one of my brothers. 
um, you know, anything they need. So, yep. So that's, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. Ro. Um, thanks, Ro. I know you're busy cooking, but yep. I appreciate it. I uh, yeah. appreciate you for getting us out here. Yeah. He's also known as the manliest man known to mankind. <laughs> son uh, you know I was stuck out here at an early age and it kind of just stuck I've always wanted to come back and so one day I bought a I bought a Tacoma and then uh, you know it, it did not make it in my ownership and uh, so then I bought a Land Cruiser and I started coming out and and I got hooked this is probably my fourth time coming out here and it's been fun it's been a blast every time so yeah uh, my name is Jeff and I've uh, been doing this probably for a few years three or four years um, I wanted to buy a forerunner and then somebody told me to hit up Roe and then when I called Roe he said why do you want a forerunner because everybody that has a forerunner wants a Land Cruiser and I said oh and then I spent more money and bought a Land Cruiser and uh, worked on it a lot and uh, broke a lot of things and uh, it's been a uh, it's been fun it's right over there my name is uh, Bilal. Um, this is my uh, first trip out here, um, not driving. I'm in the process of uh, building my 80. Um, been into cars <laughs> as, as young as I can remember. Um, been through the racing scenes, drifting, uh, dragging. Um, so <clears throat> this is the next hobby I kind of want to get into, um, want to be outdoors more, uh, more camping. Um, this is something that I kind of started to uh, get into, enjoyed the trip today. Um, it's a blast. Uh, it's a trip seeing all these uh, rigs out here. Um, everyone on the, uh, the trails um, are awesome. Everybody helps out each other. Uh, it's a good community. So looking forward to being out here more often and skinny dipping <laughs> you want to go or something you got to go say 240 you can talk about your cars in japan i just bought a tahoe and a two wheel drive two wheel drive but like tires in the back oh my god it's got a check engine light and it smells like weed <laughs> he's like but i plan on bringing it up here and i, th I think i can handle this I think I can handle this. I'm just I, probably yeah. going to need you guys to stack some rocks for yep, me. Yep, I got 20s, uh, a lot of rocks. 33s, uh, you know, <laughs> and I could just handle anything. It's because it's, it's a Chevy, 12. you know. I plan yeah, on getting the back really sticky soon. <laughs> it's an LS. Yeah, it's an LS. <laughs> so it can handle anything, really. Oh, yeah. Is what you're saying, yeah. It's like American Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, I was supposed to be home this next <laughs> time. <weekend. laughs> no, you were, hey. dude. We didn't get nothing, I, out, nothing like uh, that. Do you, do you actually want to go, or? Do you want to add anything, or like how? how did, did you get the American Toyota part? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, add about what? <laughs> your, your experience out here. What you want to do? What you Roland do? brought me out here. I did. He's been talking about it forever, and he's like, you, you want to go on the Rubicon? You want to do the Rubicon? And I was like, why not? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. And uh, now I'm here. It's pretty cool. And I, um, thank you, Asante, for helping me get my spacers in, too, man. Oh, yeah. That was very sketch, what we were yeah. doing. And I'm glad that we shared that life-threatening <laughs> moment together. Yeah. You know, that, that is one thing about these cars. You'll break a lot, but, you know, you fix a lot, too. So you learn a lot. It's, well, no. it's a good experience. So it's not like American. And everyone steps in and helps out each other. Yeah, and you know, on the road. YouTube will teach you anything, man. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> sponsored by YouTube. Can, you can we plug YouTube, YouTube like that? Can we? Oh, yeah. Uh, sponsored okay, by yeah. YouTube. Yeah, sponsored yeah. by YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Cheers. YouTube University. <laughs> Certified by YouTube. Was that, was that one of the most awkward uh, interviews you've ever seen, dude? Or what? Obviously, it's another one. Obviously, it's another awkward one. Vegas. We should do <laughs> in Vegas. Oh, dude. We should do what? 